Okay, guys. I've been uh, kind of moving some things around in the shop. The possibility I might be getting a, uh, a new piece of equipment. And uh, if you've watched the channel before, you're familiar with uh, this area here. Come on off of there. You know, Sander used to sit in that corner. That cement board that's up on the walls and it's also on the table. So that's an eight foot banquet table up on PVC pipe. So it's possible Another little change. Got some for space freed up there. And that's, uh, that's almost 12 feet long. Yeah, it's a little short of 12 feet. It's, it's a good 11 feet. So ideally, that table could come out here and a new machine <clears throat> would fit rather nicely on this wall. So nothing's done until it's done you know I mean it's just kind of preparing for a possibility I'm going to I'm going to make an offer on a lathe that I've looked at before um, it's going to require 40 or 80 hours of work just to get it cleaned up enough. I mean, the ways are, are, are in good shape, but the pulleys for the belts are covered in surface rust. And I switched my grinder, used to sit on, sets on this rolling cart, and it used to sit back in that corner where all those tools are hanging now behind that bandsaw. So I went ahead and mounted my sander to the same cart. I just got C-clamps. And this style clamp here, holding them on, so that's Ideally, I could roll that out in the driveway and, uh, and do any grinding. If not, I can take it right to the edge of the garage with the open door. So, that's a good situation. Let me uh, pause this a moment and I'll see if I can't bring up some pictures of this new piece of equipment. Okay, here we go. Let me bring you in a little bit. picture up here. Mm. 
This thing comes with a follow rest, a steady rest, uh, a face plate. See a tracer attachment, and that's not what it's called. What's this thing back here? It's a taper attachment. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Under this latch here, under this hatch here, there are pulleys. I think there was three of them there, and they're just covered with surface rust, as well as the chuck. The face plate, the steady rest, and the follow rest are all equally rusty. I'm probably not doing a very good job of showing this. But that's what it is. I can't tell you a lot about it. Let's see if there's any more pictures. Yeah, just a picture showing the information tag. There's a south bend. Precision lathe. I can't tell you anything else about it. As far as what the swing is, what the bed length is. Just that it needs a lot of work. As long as the, in my opinion, as long as the, as long as the main bearing is good, I don't think it'll be a good machine. I'm not too worried about it cosmetically. They supposedly were getting ready, prepping it for paint. But that was years ago. There's a red tote or orange tote there at the bottom of the screen. That is full of uh, parts for the lathe. It looks like there's a four-way tool post. down there on the shelf and behind that wheel. I think that would probably keep me busy all winter. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to uh, I am uh, going 
to make an offer today. Um, and then hopefully arrange, uh, arrange for uh, the company to uh, move it for me. It's something that I'm uh, willing to pay for. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna. <clears throat> I'm not gonna stress myself out over trying to move something that heavy. And, uh, sure. You can probably do it and whatever, but I'm just going to pay someone who does it professionally. I supposedly have a lead on somebody who does it professionally who will not charge uh, corporate rates to a, to a home hobbyist. So we'll only hope that's the case. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully by tonight we'll be going through that red tub because if I put some money down I'm bringing down I'm bringing all the accessories home with me and then we can arrange to have the machine brought in so hopefully tonight we'll be examining all the parts that come with that lathe <laughs> you know my uh, yeah yeah okay I'm a little excited, and I should be. All right, guys. If anybody has any, um, well, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. You know, I was gonna say if anybody has anything, you know, I should check out and this and that and blah blah blah. I'm just gonna buy the thing. You know, if it's broke, I'll fix it. Maybe I'm putting too much faith in the um, in the owner's uh, dialogue about the thing. It belonged to the grandfather, and um, he operated it. But when he stopped, it went to the son along with the Bridgeport. You know, they keep and maintain the Bridgeport well. Um, they just never, they just never really use the lathe. And they're not going to let go of the bridge port. Okay, that's all I got, I guess.